Thank you, thank you, thank you. This was a piece done by Reverend that we found in this abandoned pavilion structure where there was a lot of graffiti because it was completely out of the public eye, so the artist didn't have to worry about discovery or cars or people walking by. This is another piece by Reverend in the same vicinity. You can see he's obviously got a mastery of his materials and a unique style. He's not using wild style here. This is a piece by an artist named Homespun. Someone clearly has beef with them, is uh, denouncing them on their own work for signs of disrespect. Seeing books and Reed everywhere, and apparently there is an artist named Reed who is world famous, traveled to New Orleans, and in this pavilion structure he put up a lot of tags, here's a piece, and he sometimes uses books as his tag rather than writing Reed. This was in the front, and it said, Do not bulldoze, we are New Orleans, making a statement about graffiti and the identity of the people here. We found this in uh, the same area. It was a tag by Harsh. And here's a piece by the same artist, and it was found on Press Street. We can see that he collaborated with other artists. I think they might be from the same crew because their styles seem to mesh with each other. And this mural on Press Street, I believe, was probably given legal permission because it was right by a main road, but there's obviously a lot of detail. We can see risk in this portion. Here's a close-up of a character of a peacock on the same mural. This was a different area. This was done by an artist named Tard, who uses the characters Fat Kids from Outer Space. Very distinctive, and you always know that this is done by Tard. This is another Tard with the same Fat Kids from Outer Space characters. This was part of the side of a building, which I'm pretty sure he got legal permission for because it was also on a main road, but it's very intricate, very detailed. Here's a, a far away view, and here you can see there's a bird rising from oil. I believe this was a commentary because Tard is a local New Orleans artist about the oil spill and the effects on wildlife. Interesting that he's making a political statement with his art. This was the front of the same building, and it's another statement about New Orleans and the need to preserve despite um, the different hardships that have affected the area. This tag was in front of the same building and it was done by an artist UFO907 who also apparently travels the world and he did this tag while he was in New Orleans doing graffiti. These were by a different set of train tracks which were also abandoned and this was a, just a mecca of graffiti. There were pieces everywhere. Um, this is probably where all the local, both practice artists and neophytes come to get their name out, come to get more practice because it was everywhere. This piece is from a world famous artist, her name is Swoon. She does her work slightly differently, she doesn't use aerosol, instead she uses only paper. It's very detailed, very intricate, you can see when you get a closer look. In this close-up, people are rising from a flooded area, which might be a statement about Katrina. Someone wrote R.I.P. Swoon. They've been writing this on many different pieces of graffiti, but Swoon is still alive. This is a Banksy. This is from The Simpsons. He Banksy often randomly juxtaposes elements of popular culture with other elements uh, of the media. Uh, 
Also, a Banksy, this has been covered in plexiglass because someone who calls himself Great Ghost has gone around erasing graffiti in New Orleans, including Banksy, so this is to protect it. And also, a commentary on Katrina, it's only raining inside the girl's umbrella.